All right, guys. So thank you guys for joining us for our ninth episode of Think Thursday. With this week's topic, what we're going to be discussing is choosing the proper equipment. There's a lot of people out there who have their favorite clipper. You hear people arguing about it all the time. Like the only clipper I'll ever use is the Andy's T outliners over the wall detailers, or I'm definitely a Babyliss Pro advocate. I only use Babyliss, all their equipment. So today what we're going to be discussing is what proper equipment you should use. And for me, what my personal opinion is, it don't freaking matter. It don't freaking matter. It doesn't matter what you use. The main thing that you should really be focusing on is making sure that you have your steps and that you have a system in place, whatever clipper you decide to select or whatever clipper you decide to use. The reason being so is that unless you master one set of clippers, I don't suggest you moving on to any other clipper yet. So me personally, I say select a brand, select a clipper, whichever one you like and whichever one fits you the best, master those because once you master one set of clipper line you can pretty much use whatever clipper line you really want they're very similar having the proper steps and procedures is most important you can find youtube videos and instagram videos of people setting hair on fire and it, and it cutting itself you see people using scissors to cut the hair and what i can say from experience is it's mostly about the angles and elevation that you're actually holding the hair at which is most important so if you have a system and you know how to cut hair it doesn't really matter what you cut it off with I can hold out someone's hair at a 90 degree elevation and take a pair of shears, shark fin shears, Hanzo shears, it doesn't really necessarily matter, and cut it straight across. Or I can take a pair of Andy's Masters and take that same elevation and cut it straight across. And I tell you what, once I drop the hair, it's gonna be the same length and it's gonna have the same result and it's gonna give you the same look. So stop arguing over what clippers are better. Stop concerning yourself over, I have to get the best new clipper that's out. If you really know what you're doing, you should be able to do a haircut with no matter what someone puts in your hand with that being said now i think it's really cool that you kind of go out outside of your realm and you start to look into different types of clippers that fit within your arsenal um, and adding on to your arsenal so every clipper that you learn and every set of equipment that you pick up you can add it to your tool belt and that's totally fine but don't over concern yourself with what brand and what type of clipper you're using especially in the beginning of your career because you have to really figure out the fundamentals and what's a really good step and process that works for you first. To discuss this topic farther, I'm gonna pass it off to my business partner, Jonathan Otano. Hey everyone, I could definitely, definitely agree with Ray on that one. All I can say is I'm not gonna keep you here too long. Uh, he pretty much hit every single point that I really wanted to touch base on. I really want you guys to think about it. We really, uh, really try to strive on getting you guys to get used to your own personal style. That's the whole concept is figuring out what your personal procedure is, no matter what implement or tools that you use. The main implement I always tell my students back to back on a daily basis is where's your comb? The comb is the most important part of your everyday process, no matter what haircut, hairstyle, thermal styling, coloring, the comb is always there to be used. So that's based off of my opinion only. Don't look for the next fad. There's always new clippers and equipment that's coming out on an annual basis. So yet again, thank you guys for tuning in on Think Thursdays. If you guys have any questions about enrolling to our school or any topics that you actually still want to talk about, please DM us anytime uh, or subscribe to us on our channel. Thank you.